Good morning. It's Saturday, 17th of August. Not a bad day. Had been raining, but it's off now. Come on, Maggie. Maggie. Saturday and as I said in a previous vlog just a quiet weekend this morning though well not this morning but later on in the morning um, we're getting visitors Tam's family's visiting and uh, I've just got a few things here that I can make for them to eat just a couple of pizzas and chicken pakora that we got from the butchers so um, I'm going to just put them in the oven once they, they come here. They've got about an hour and 40 minutes journey ahead of them and then an, an hour and 40 minutes back home. So um, it's quite a journey. But anyway, I'll go and get organised for that. I, I, there's something about my hair. I just don't like the way it's sitting. I don't know what it is. I really don't. Um, who knows, but maybe it's just me. So last night, yeah, I had my Bacardi. I actually had two Bacardis. And Tam went into the bedroom to watch the football in there. And I just played some music just through YouTube, but on the television. So I actually enjoyed it. And I ended up sitting up to it at 1 o'clock in the morning. Not listening to music because... I wouldn't keep my neighbours awake by playing music till that time of the morning. I put the music off about 10 minutes to 11. Then I had something to eat and a cup of tea, which I don't normally do. And then I just watched some YouTube videos on my laptop. So then went to bed. So it was just going on to one. Well, no, I'll tell a lie. I think it was 20 minutes to one when I went to bed. Took me a wee while to sleep as well, but I eventually fell over. And I got up this morning again, um, about half past eight. So, yeah, I'll just go and organise now for our visitors and um, see what else I can do until they arrive. Hey, we have visitors. Just getting mind. something to eat just now. What are you saying, Tom? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Right, Tam's family's just gone. They're, they're away home now. As I said earlier, they've got an hour and 40 minutes journey ahead of them um, to get back home. So it was Tam's two daughters, grandson, granddaughter and the granddaughter's boyfriend. So it was really quite a nice day and they brought gifts for our wedding anniversary and a Tam's birthday well one present for Tam's birthday and a card from one of Tam's daughters um, and flowers and I also had a delivery right Karen brought me these beautiful flowers I've got sunflowers look at the size of that isn't it gorgeous beautiful sunflower um there's some oops there's some roses as well there. And then I knock at the door and I had a delivery of flowers. These are from Tam and they're for our wedding anniversary, which is tomorrow. So they're lovely as well. Lovely colours too. Right, so my stepdaughter, Karen, they have got apple trees in their garden. I didn't realise they had, but then we've not been down for a wee while and she came with a bag with apples in it. I'll show you them in a wee minute. There's one of them. There's one of them sitting. Look at that. Isn't that great? Grown in their own garden. Um, so there's quite a few in a bag that she brought up. They also brought up like a birthday card for Tam for his birthday is on Wednesday. When's my wedding? Oh, the wedding anniversary tomorrow. <laughs> I'm getting mixed up. <laughs> Um, and she brought a box containing lots of jars and cans 
a wee while back she had got to him. Now, that was for Father's Day, I think, and it's a can opener. I'll show you it just now. It's to help because we find it difficult opening some cans. I think I showed it on the video. I'm not sure. There's a couple of bits to it. And then a wee kind of rubber mat to set the can on. No for grip. Um, I think I showed you, sir. So she said that's what all these cans were for. They're for her wedding anniversary. This is it here. Now there's coffee, there's jam, there's marmalade, there's curry sauces, bolognese sauce, mayonnaise, mint sauce, there's apple sauce in there as well, and tikka masala. The coffee. <laughs> She didn't really need to do this, it was too much, that's the apple sauce. And there's jams as well, tartar sauce and there's pickled onions too. So that was really nice, nice surprise. So she brought that up as well and we also got an anniversary card with a £50 gift voucher in it. Far too much, they shouldn't have done it but we do appreciate it as always. Um, so yes, what a lovely surprise. So our first wedding anniversary card, isn't that lovely? And I'm not going to show you inside, it's got everyone's names. Um, so basically it was from everyone who were, was here visiting me today. Hi. And um, the, the flowers as well. Just lovely, so thanks very much Karen for that. And I've got something else I need to show you. Now, Karen makes things with her cricket and just different things that she's got. She's got her own wee summer house and that's that's like a wee craft shop. Now, she made these. I'll just show you. Here's the other one. Tam, so I bet he's put it in the car already. I wouldn't be surprised. Hold on. No, he didn't put it in the car. Now, she made this and she makes lots of other things, coasters, and isn't that gorgeous? That's to go in the back of the car, spoiled waste on board. And she made this. It's a magnet. You put it on your fridge, obviously, to do, sorry, you can see my camera on that, to-do list, and it's got two wee besties there at the top. And then the, both magnets at the top and the bottom. Isn't that fantastic? And a wee pen. Whiteboard marker. So that'll go in the fridge. And then we'll put that out in the car. Now, I think it's really great what she's made. And on her Etsy shop, there is a whole host of different things that she has made by hand. Aren't they fantastic? They really are. I've had a few things. She's made me coasters before, which had actual pictures that we had taken of Maggie, and she put them on to these beautiful coasters. Um, and if you want to go ahead and have a look at our Etsy shop, I'll put the name above here. It's um, Bella Fiondes is the name of her Etsy shop. Now, she was showing me some of the things that she has got on it and they are absolutely fantastic. I will be buying some things myself and she is doing really well. Her Etsy shop has, she's sold quite a lot of things. Now, she's sat and she's made these by hand. Coasters with all different sayings on it, funny sayings, you know, things like that on them and things for dogs and then countdown well i don't know if she's put the countdown to christmas ones on but she does the countdown to halloween Do you know the wee boards chalkboards and you can write it how many days is left all different things about countdown countdown to this countdown to that fantastic so yeah if you want to go and have a wee look it's on etsy and i've put the name of her etsy shop there have a look they're really really great i've saw a few things that i'm going to buy um pretty soon especially the countdown to halloween i don't think i, I would get personally but th there is people who would like that people who decorate their homes at autumn and halloween 
I normally do, but I don't think I'm going to decorate the inside of the house as much as I did last year. And I'm not doing any autumnal decoration because it means you're putting things away that's normally out, you know, different flower arrangements. I don't mind putting a flower arrangement in, uh, maybe in the living room or somewhere else in the house for autumn because they are nice. Um, but I'm not changing other things. I'm not putting throws over the sofas. I did that last year. My son's now got those throws. He's got them over his sofas because I didn't want them. So I gave him them. Um, I just, I did different things last year, I know that. But no, I'm not doing that this year. What I will do is decorate the outside of the house for Halloween, which I always do anyway. So I think it will be mostly for the outside of the house for Halloween and just the odd wee things. I mean, I've got lots of stuff for Halloween, so whether I'll put them all out, I don't know. Some of them I'll give to my son because he's got Logan and he loves to decorate the house for Logan. Um, so we'll just need to wait and see once I get everything out of the shed again, which won't be just now, probably the beginning of October. I'll get everything out and see what I've got. It's funny how you forget, isn't it? But I can always look back in my videos. That's the great thing about doing YouTube videos. They're memories. You can look back on them, you know, and if for some reason you're worried about them getting deleted or whatever, get a memory stick and get them all transferred to a memory stick. That's what I do. I wish I'd done it with the other channels that I had. Um, for those of you who might not know, I did have other channels. I think I had two other channels, which I deleted because I wasn't intending carrying on being a YouTube vlogger. But anyway, it would have been nice to look back on them now if I had put them in a memory stick. So I do that now. So I can go now and look back to last Halloween and see how I decorated the house. So I'll be able to see what I've got without taking them out of the shed just now, or at the beginning of October. So anyway, if you want, please look at uh, my stepdaughter Karen's Etsy shop. You'll be really surprised and uh, the, the lovely things she makes. I mean, I, I was just in awe of all the things she done today. She was just showing me them all, all different things. So I think that's me today. I'm not going to be doing much else. I'm going to get washed, get into my night dress because I've still got that ironing to do and I've got pyjamas and I like to iron my pyjamas. Um, I'm just strange, maybe. I don't know. Does anyone else do that? Iron their pyjamas. Just some of the pyjamas I've got, they do crease quite bad after they've been washed and I'd rather that they were nice and just look nice. I don't know. That's, that's just that. So I will go now and probably get a wee cup of tea and I'll come back to finish the vlog. Right, so I just got something to eat and we're just going to settle down now. Um, I hope you can't hear that television. Tam's got the football on. But we are going to watch a movie tonight. We'll probably go into bed and watch it. I could sleep just now. Tam already fell asleep on the sofa. So what's the name of the, the movie we're going to watch tonight? The Union. The Union. Who's in it? Halle Berry and Mark Wilberg. Did you hear him? Halle Berry and Mark Wahlberg. It's on Netflix now. It looked, we saw bits of it last night in a trailer and it looked good. Um, the other one was A History of Violence. Um, that's on Netflix as well. Tam says we've seen it years ago, but I don't remember. Maybe not years ago. He did say we'd seen it. Uh, again, there was a trailer for it and it looked quite good as well. So we won't be watching that tonight because Tam doesn't want to watch two movies. He's too tired. So am I, right? And if I probably wouldn't stay awake after my late night last night. Um, so we'll see. But if we don't watch the History of Violence one tonight, we'll watch that tomorrow night, Sunday night. So I think I'm going to love yous and leave yous now. I am so tired. 
It's been a lovely day. It was nice having Tam's family here. Well, some of Tam's family. That's not all his family. It was nice meeting Tam's granddaughter's boyfriend. We haven't met him. That was the first we'd met him. And we're planning to maybe take a wee drive down one week, um, you know, to, just to return the visit uh, and see these. Oh, I never showed you the apples, did I? Um, quite a lot of apples. So I was saying to Tam, maybe we should try and plant a wee apple tree somewhere. I need to find a space for it. Well, it just shows you what you can grow. I, I didn't think you could grow apples in this country. But then you do, you could, people in England, because I buy the apples, um, especially about October time, and they are so lovely. And it's usually Essex or, you know, down that, part of the country in England um, but they've got orchards and probably big hot houses I, I really don't know I, I can't imagine there being a hot house right now because apple trees grow quite big but I think it's amazing I mean I saw these apples that Karen and her husband had grew in their own garden oh my god that's amazing so I'll just show you them before I sign off for the night Right, there they are. Now, I had said at the time when Cam gave me these apples, I could maybe use them for maybe making apple crumble or an apple tart, you know, but she's actually got a Bramley apple tree in her garden as well, so she says she'll give me some of them. But I think we'll try one of these apples tonight, and I still might make an apple crumble with some of them. And if I do that, that will, no, it won't be tomorrow because we probably will be going out for dinner for our anniversary. I don't know yet what we're doing there. But isn't that amazing? It really is. Yeah, it would be nice to grow these in your garden. So maybe that's something we'll look at for next year. Maybe see if we can get some apple trees. Plant them somewhere. Uh, yeah, that would be lovely. Isn't that great? Yeah, we'll definitely do that. What do you think, Tam? Maybe think, have a look at them anyway, the apple, apple trees. Um, now, I think Karen said, when I asked what they were called, I think she says, Katie, you know how you get golden, delicious. golden delicious gala apples. These are Katie, I'm pretty sure she, she called them. Um, I don't know, I don't know what, kind I would get. We'd need to look at them all anyway. It's something to think about, isn't it? We'll see. He said we'll see. Did you hear him? He's too busy thinking about his 75-inch television that he wants to get. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There'll be no room for it. There's definitely no room there for is. it. There is. Isn't there, Maggie? There isn't. Maggie said there is. Maggie doesn't. Maggie doesn't want a big television. Yeah. It'll take over the whole living room, but do you think? Comment below, what do you think? My living room's not that big, or our living room's not that big, so imagine a big 75 inch. He said this before and then he changed his mind, we would just leave it. I said we'd wait and see. You didn't say wait yeah, and we, see, you just says no, you wouldn't get one. There was... Not, the over there, I think we need one. Now the television's been moved. If you haven't seen yesterday's video, we are... Um, Friday's video, wasn't it, where we got the television moved from this corner to a bigger wall over here. Uh, I'll link it above. I'll be linked above anyway, but uh, it's still too big. There's no such thing. It wouldn't have fitted in that corner it was in anyway originally. I suppose it would look better because that's one big long wall there. Um, so we'll just need to think about that when we're thinking about maybe getting apple trees as well. No. <laughs> anyway, folks, I am going to love you and leave you now. I hope you've enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you've given me a thumbs up, I appreciate it and thanks very much. So I'm just going to go now and I will see you in the next vlog which won't be uploaded until Monday and it'll be our wedding anniversary one. A wee special video for you and I hope you will like it once you see it. So take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye.